Now that you understand the building blocks of GLMs, it is time to learn how to fit a GLM in Python. The starting point is the Stats Models library, which is used for statistical and econometric analysis. We import the library using statsmodels.api. From 050 version, the formula-based entry is supported, which we can import as follows. Or we can import a GLM function directly via statsmodels.formula.api. To fit a model, we first need to describe the model using the model class GLM. Then the met method fit is used to fit the model. Very detailed results of the model fit can be analyzed via the summary method. And finally, we can compute predictions using the predict method. There are two ways to describe the model, using formulas or arrays. If you're familiar with R language, then you will appreciate the ability to fit a GLM using the R style formulas. The stats models uses the Patsy package to convert formulas and data to the matrices, which are then used in model fitting. Note that if you are using the array based method, the intercept is not included by default. You can add it using the add constant function. For this course, we will use the formula based method. The main arguments are formula, data, and family. The formula is at the heart of the modeling function, where the response or output is modeled as a function of the explanatory variables or the inputs. Each explanatory variable is specified and separated with a plus sign. Note that the formula needs to be enclosed in quotation marks. There are different ways we can represent explanatory variables in the model. Categorical variables are enclosed with capital C. Removing the intercept is done with minus one. The interaction terms are written in two ways depending on the need, where the semicolon applies to only the interaction term, whereas the multiplication symbol will also, in addition to the interaction term, add individual variables. We will see how this works in Chapter 4. Lastly, we can also add transformations of the variables directly in the formula. Family distributions are in the family's namespace. Here, we list only three, which we will use in this course. The default link function is denoted in parentheses, but you could choose other link functions available for each distribution. However, if you choose to use a non-default link function, you would have to specify it directly. To view the results of the model fit, we use the summary method which provides the main information on model fit, such as the model description, model statistics, such as log likelihood and deviance, and estimated model parameters with their corresponding statistics. The estimated parameters are given by COEF with their standard error, z-scores, p-values, and 95% confidence intervals. To only view the regression coefficients, we can use params given model fit. Similarly, the confidence intervals for the parameter estimates can be obtained by calling conf underscore int. The default is 95%, which you can change using the alpha argument. With calls argument, you can specify which confidence intervals to return. When doing predictive modeling, your final goal is to compute and assess predictions given the fitted model and test data. The first step is to specify the test data, which should contain all the variables you have included in the final model. Note that if you don't specify test data, the function uses data with which the model was fit. Final predictions are computed with predict. Now, let's try the 